Where's the leak at? Literally on this spot. Oh, okay. That's not. Autos don't sell it. Dealerships don't sell it. That's not that bad. Nah, like when I want to go sell a dirt bike. Oh yeah. That's a leader valve, I'm pretty sure. Leader valve? Yeah. Which would explain why it just shot out like that. Alright, so today I am replacing my PVC valve or PCV valve on my uh my golf GTI. So I know mine is bad. Well, I think this is what's causing it, but when I'm driving and I'm just steady on the throttle, between like 2300 and like 2800 RPM, the car hesitates. It's like, mm, mm, mm. and then after that, it's fine. And sometimes it has a rough start, like it wants to die every once in a while. And then in the engine bay, you can see down there, this hose that goes to it is like leaking a lot of oil. It's pretty bad. So, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. And I'm gonna show you how. It's pretty simple. And, uh, yeah. All you'll need is maybe a flathead screwdriver for these connectors, like mainly that one right there. And then you'll need a T30 Torx bit for the 10 or 11 screws. So there's one right there, right there, there, one down there, one right there, one right there probably another one I don't see so yeah also you want to take these two coil packs out I forgot to mention that I've already started removing this one but uh, I'm gonna stop and take those coil packs out first just so I don't get this completely loose and then break something trying to remove the coil packs and I almost dropped the screen I like to remove the screws before I take the coal packs out because you don't want the screw to fall into the motor because if you don't have a magnet, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get those screws back out. So this should, let me slide these connectors right back. The last piece is this little hose right here. And I think that just pulls right off if I'm not mistaken. Got the old one out. It honestly doesn't look that bad. But it's one less thing to worry about because they do tend to go bad fairly often. And if they are bad and um, you don't replace them, it can blow seals. And you do not want to blow the rear main seal because it's a cheap part to replace it, but the labor is very, can be very expensive. Next. By the way, this motor looks really clean inside. It's got 133,000 miles. replacement screws all 10 or 11 of them and these have to be torqued i think it's too bro it's fucking screws just tighten it good enough i'm gonna just give it a good ugga dugga just to make sure but uh yeah just gonna button it up and see how it does hopefully that oil leakage will stop i'm gonna try and clean that up a little bit back there 
so I can, it'll be easier to see if it's still fucked up. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it, really. I'm gonna put those coil packs back in before I put the screws back in just to be safe. gotta push these back in and excuse these our plugs are kind of fucked just kind of press them on and that one's only gonna go on but so far because it's cracked i also wiped off that hose in the back going into the intake so i'll keep an eye on that and just see how it drives but um yeah that's how you replace the PCV valve on a Mark 6 GTI. It's really simple. And if I wasn't filming, I probably could have did that in probably like a good 15 minutes, maybe 10. Not hard at all. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you a real homie, I'd appreciate a share because that's what helps me out the most, it would seem. Like, comment if you have any tips or maybe I did something wrong. I don't think I did anything wrong, but I'm always open to learning. Hopefully that'll solve my hesitation issues and shit too. But thank you all for watching. Say bye, Dion. Hi. Y'all have a good one.